We've made it to Kent. It's our first time here and we have some friends with us to show us around. Our friends Jason and Josh Hi. live here in Faversham. They're gonna be showing us around Kent for the next couple days, all the way down to Dover and all over the place. We're starting our morning here at the Faversham Boatyard and what better way to start our journey through Kent than with Belinda, <laughs> as she's been affectionately named. <laughs> Now, Jason and Josh have made a video about uh, some of the weirder things that they've found here in Faversham, and she's definitely one of them. We're noticing today that she seems to be some sort of like vehicle, like she probably moves her little tiny stump legs. I don't know, whatever she is, I'm sure it's majestic when she does it. What does she have in her hand? A purse? Oh. A zip tie? A zip tie. <laughs> But she does have a purse on her arm. Oh, she does. She's fashionable, too. Bird on her head. Oh, she has like the things that the benches have, kind of, right? Oh, kind of. Yeah, the small ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've come to this cute little cafe called The Secret Garden to have some clotted cream and scones and uh, a nice latte. Really, really good latte. How's your scone? It was very tasty. Had the first whole like scone with clotted cream that I've had since we've been here, which is kind of crazy. We have enjoyed our time in Faversham. It has been a bit rainy, but we have to go to our next stop. We are checking out some more of Kent. We have made our way to Dover, checked into our Airbnb, which is a really nice location, centrally located, has great views of the town, and we even have this side view of the castle. That is the Dover Castle right there. We have made it to Dover. It is, uh, there, the weather's been a little questionable, a little rainy, but we found a break in the rain and have found ourselves with the white cliffs. That is Dover Castle up there on the hill. That structure there on the left, that is the Roman Lighthouse. The Roman Lighthouse is another thing I had on my list, so we're just crossing them all off from right here. And those are the White Cliffs of Dover. This is like one of the top things we came here to see. We, we saw see it, it. Yeah. so we can go now, all right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. come to a place called Samfire Ho, which Jason was telling us they dumped all this land here, creating the channel, and uh, now it is a like a nature preserve, so that's pretty neat. Um, the seawall you can't walk down to, with probably for good reason, because it's uh, pretty splashy down there. But there is this gorgeous view of the White Cliffs of Dover. We were gonna get some coffee in this whole cafe, but it's closed, so we're gonna have to find a different alternative for some food and hot things. Yeah. <laughs> you feeling extra? I am. We're going to a Tex- a Texco? <laughs> a Texaco. <laughs> we're going to Tesco Extra with JJ Extra. Oh, <laughs> We came to the Tesco Cafe, which I didn't even know was a thing. But Jeremy got a fancy hot chocolate and I got a latte. I got a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Jeremy got a Hulumi burger. Now we're just looking around, marveling at the fact that there's all kinds of clothes and stuff in here. This is a huge, huge store. Tesco Extra was a lot, but uh, kind of an unexpected stop in our day that we kind of were playing it by ear because of the rain, but uh, it was pretty neat to see that. And unfortunately, our time in Kent is coming to an end. However, before that, we have a few things to try. The only thing Jeremy picked up today at the Tesco Extra was some Marmite peanut butter, which I don't know if he's gonna try that before we leave or not, but our friends Jason and Josh did get us some Kentish items that we are going to try because we want to experience a little bit more of Kent before we go. Jeremy already cracked open this Whitstable Bay beer. This is 
uh, Faversham Brewery. This is the brewery in the town that Jason and Josh live in. And uh, we walked by it the other night on our walk. How is your beer? It's good. It's kind of a light blonde lager and I think the label said citrusy. I, I guess I would say it's citrusy, but yeah, it's pleasant. I like it. I would drink that again. They also got us these Kentish Gypsy Tarts from Broadstairs, from Mr. Krusty of Broadstairs. <laughs> Jason was telling us that I believe the main ingredient in these is condensed milk. When you don't have a proper utensils, you just do a little, uh, hey, it popped right out of the tin, so we're good. He was a little worried if we would like that or not. Hmm, I like it. It has kind of an interesting texture. It's like kind of fluffy, but also, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it almost reminds me of like a coffee or like a toffee. Toffee and coffee are two different things. Yeah, it smells <laughs> kind of toffee-ish to me. Yeah, but it has, it, it's good. It has a good flavor. I like it. I'm gonna take another bite of it. It almost feels lighter than I expected it to. Like it looks pretty dense, but it feels a little light. Uh, I guess we'll try it. <laughs> Party foul. Yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of got like a like a honeycomby or toffee kind of flavor to it. It's pretty good. It's got a nice like the texture is soft and fluffy, like you said. Yeah, I like that. This is a goopy original. That's what it says, right? Goopy. Yeah, a devilishly Moorish chewy chocolate confection with a hint of crunch. That is a mouthful of words. <laughs> They're pretty good sized triangles. They're quite chocolatey. They do have a nice little crunch to them. I feel like they're probably more of a carrot jam. They're very chocolatey. And I like chocolate, but a lot of it can be a lot to me. But they're good quality and I, I enjoy it, but that one was probably good enough for me. Oh yeah, these are very decadent. They have crispies in them. So they're kind of like a, like a crunch, but they're like a richer, like, finer dark chocolate, more delightful version of a crunch. I think a crunch is the same here, right? I think. Mmm, these are so good. We have one more thing to try. And these are Kent Crisps, oyster and vinegar. I am not excited about this. This isn't a flavor that necessarily intrigues me, but uh, we did pick up some rosemary, lamb and rosemary of the same brand, and they were excellent, like beautiful, wonderful crisps. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you react to a crisp quite this way. <laughs> you seem confused by them. Kind of. They're not bad. In fact, they taste mostly like vinegar to me. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Like, they mostly taste like vinegar. I don't love them. I didn't think you'd love them, but I think you'd hate them. I don't like them. They're not as offensive as I thought they would be. They are a little fishy tasting. I have embraced vinegar on chips. Like, I feel like every time that I have chips now, I, I do like some, some malt vinegar. I don't know what it is, I just don't like it on crisps as much. And I don't know what the difference is. I feel like those are less offensive than some of the vinegar things I've had, but I, I don't love them. I probably wouldn't get them again. However, the lamb and rosemary ones were amazing. They're probably one of my favorite crisps I've had from the UK. So if you're looking for a new crisp to try and you haven't tried the Kent crisps of those, they're a good one. I feel like they have less flavor than the lime and rosemary ones that Kara was talking about earlier. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like a crisp. <laughs> and it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. We had a fun time hanging out with Jason and Josh. If you are not familiar with their channel, uh, they do videos all over Kent. So if you're looking for some cool, unique things to do in Kent and in the UK uh, in general, we have been inspired by a lot of places that they've visited. Some of the places that we visited, we have gotten ideas from watching their videos. So highly recommend checking out their channel. Uh, we will leave a link below uh, and yeah, go subscribe to them. And thank you for coming along with us. Thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. We will see you soon. We are gonna head to France soon, which 
uh, I feel like a lot of you guys have given us some interesting mixed feedback about, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>